Okay, this is Eric Windheim, building biologist. We're at a house up by Folsom Lake and we're checking for net currents. We've got an awful lot of magnetic fields throughout the entire house. And so we're now back at a new sub panel. And this is an amp clamp. And uh, all circuits should be balanced, so there should be a 0.0. .0. As we have here, we have 0.0. .0. Here we have uh, 0.02. Here we have, on this one we have 4.6, there's definitely a wiring violation there. Uh, normally connecting of neutrals that don't belong to each other. Here we have 0.4, here we have 2.28, so we could go on and on and on. Almost every one of these circuits has got a wiring code violation. And they're sharing and splitting current back and forth between each other. Okay, now we're going to go over to this other bundle here. There we got, if you can see that, there's 0.12 amps right there. There's 0.12 amps on that one. Once again, there's 0.109 on that one. What do we have here? 0.07. Two point five three amps. That's a lot of net current. Okay, all this is happening. It wouldn't be happening if things were wired according to code, but they're not. So we could go on and on and on, but it looks like anywhere from half to three quarters of all these circuits have net currents, and that indicates parallel pathways to ground, and that's wiring code violation. Okay, thank you very much.